Welcome back to another episode of Pimp My Walker. <laughs> Here in the air gun shooter. Well, finally got the, the green uh, uh, zip ties to attach my makeshift shooting stick scabbard. You see here in a black plastic, I'll just eh, put that like that. It'll stick up about here on his front leg. First thing I gotta do, matter of fact, is you have to see. You have to see which look at which part of the leg rotates when you turn it like this, okay? section right here is the only, only section that doesn't turn. All the rest of them uh, turn when this part rotates back and forth, you know, side to side, however you want to think of it. So, up so you can see it and I can gain up the eyeball level to <laughs> work on it anyway. Now see it's a you can see down here it's got some distance. So that away from it. So once you you I have to tie it in right here to this where this cross brace is here above this above this bushing and below where this other insert bushing is right here. It's like a male and female uh, bushing so it can rotate. Nice green zip ties. Gonna pull through that little blocky thing, right? Here we go. This is gonna take a while. Oh, come here, dog! I dropped that dog gun thing. Eddie broke back picker upper. Get those with those hip and knee kits too when you have surgery in your hip and your knee. They give you all these little things to big long. Uh, shoe spoons for putting your shoes on and these trigger picker upper things and all kind of stuff like that come in handy when you get older besides having my hip replaced and all that oh I can't hold that I just can't hold that darn thing up and bear with I can't do it I just I need three three or four people to hold all that together and be able to get it You gotta stick it through the back and the, the blocky part has to point away. Shaking like a 
leaf in a hurricane now trying to hold it steady. Oh, dang it, come on. Really? Um, am I doing that backwards or something, maybe? Or is that just... taking 20 millimeters worth of... Dang. No, I was afraid of that. That's going to be pretty doggone tight then. By the time... Uh, it was 105, 108 millimeter. 120 millimeter would have been better. That's almost tight now. Uh, okay, I'm trying to see where the black in the part you can still see the black plastic where the tape didn't wrap all the way. I'm trying to see where that is so I can get that facing backwards at least. Right. Gotta get some needle nose or something here. Oh, let go! Let go! Dead. Go on, you get out of there. wire for the phone charger got stuck in the bag I had this in and pulled the whole thing down. One of those things from the unclaimed, not unclaimed freight outlet, uh, Harbor Freight and Salvage, a couple of bucks, like three dollars or something, that was a good buy. There are all these different kind of needle nose and nipper style wire cutters and junk like that. So, Thing to come out of there. Okay, now try that again. Okay, that's a little better. That's one. I'll have to put maybe four of them on there and just on this little vertical part of the cross brace here. Cross member, I guess you'd call it. Sort of like the cradle on, that goes on, on the front frame rails that go under the engine. That's what this part here is, basically. Okay, anyway. Uh, let's see. Okay, just. Uh, there's not much the, the, the tab on the end of these things where you push it through the little block is about that long that's maybe 10-15 millimeters worth you've got to burn through until you get to the little ridges that stick on that little flap in the block that only goes one way so you hear it kind of click 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 like making a zipping sound that's why you call them zip ties I got two on there and that thing is pretty, pretty steady. I thought I'd use, uh, I thought I'd use four to make sure it's staying in place when I go through all the uh, scrub and underbrush and whatnot out in the field, no woods, you know what I'm talking about, weeds and all the wild herbs and stuff like that that, that are growing out there. Oh, darn it, I got a hold of the wrong one. Okay, one more. Put two down here and two up here inside the center of this 
uh, cross member here. I thought that would hold it pretty good. Next Friday is September 1st. Even being a retiree, I gotta wait till then to pay my bills and all that stuff so I can pop 50 bucks at the, lo at the local Walmart to get that uh, shooting stick and I'll show you guys what that is and how it works and everything with one of the guns and how it fits in here. I've got this sticking up about 10 inches right here. I thought maybe uh, that'd be fair to middling because this thing is going to be down about that that level so I'm like this and have to have the gun strapped over my left shoulder to shoot and stick on this side since I'll be using it like this you know up against my shoulder like that. Well, you'll see in the next video. I wanted to use the green zip ties since that's more of a natural color, that be the color of a young vine or you know hop hop vines. That's another one. How come the vines hops grow are called vines? B i n e s. B i n e s. <laughs> uh, and other thing else is called a vine. V i n e s. What the hell? You ever wonder about stuff like that? Oh, I hope you guys can hear me a little better. I left the air conditioner off. Only about 53 degrees last night, and I slept next to the open window. I like to close me bloody arse off. Oh, I like these little nipper kind of wire cutters here, too. Okay, there it is. It squeezed a little bit. I hope that doesn't matter to that. Uh, oh, the little rubber thing on the base of the monopod stock, the foot on the on the trigger stick. I hope I'm gambling that that'll fit through here. If not, I'll have to sand it down or something. We'll see, but. It's hard to find these things up in an inch and a half diameter that you don't where you don't have to buy at least seven of them. I don't need seven. I had to buy at least two of these, and they were only a dollar twenty-seven. But that's fourteen, fifteen bucks plus shipping to buy a, a big box of seven of these darn things, just to get one in an inch and a half diameter. And then you have to get these zip ties about one hundred twenty millimeter if you can find them that big in green. You know that kind of thing. But anyhow, there it is. And let's just push that back. I can. Yeah. Oh! Then I bought that chair. And it still rotates, so you can fold it flat. You can hear that blocking in. It, that's a little flippity dippity like that, but that's not too bad, really. You need that thing to move a little bit. To, it can't be too tight because you'll squeeze, you'll squash this, and then the, the, the little foot on the bottom of the trigger stick won't go down through there. This is barely big enough to fit that thing now. Real close. But there we are. There's our trigger stick scabbard. So uh, now we got something to put the trigger stick in and I just I forgot to 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 buy the the sling and sling mounts from uh, Winchester for the uh, the Winchester 1400 CS the 177 Magnum Pell gun, the real big long one in the back over here with the uh, real tree camo. It's got the right kind of sling mounts to fit the hot sun uh, 
Striker 1000X right there. The uh, Springer's got that, that long sort of elbow thing. Well, Springer's have a front sling mount that has the little thing for the strap like that, but it's got two fingers like this that are varying distances apart. Because some, some of them with that, that elbow part that, that bends with the barrel are actually three pieces of metal put together of varying thicknesses. Some are thin and only about, say like that, and some are really wide at over a quarter of an inch, which the hot side and the, the Winchester 1400 are. So I'm going to get the sling mounts and the sling from the Winchester and put that on the Optimus, the Crossman Optimus. 22 I bought for my son, I'll show you that. And the uh, Hot Sound Striker 1000X, the, the 1000X denoting the Woodstock version. The S is the synthetic. So uh, we'll have a video about that too because there's a hole you got to drill put the bushing in. For the front sling mount, you'll you'll see all of that, and uh, but that's it for now. Until we until I can get the uh, trigger stick and get out my my drill and make sure it's charged up and everything, and, and get that sling sling and mount mount kits. From Winchester, and then we'll uh, we'll go through mounting them on the Optimus, the Crossman Optimus, and the Hot Sound Striker 1000X. So that's it for this time. Good Lord willing, and the creeks don't rise. We'll see you again right here.